presents the Fitness and Pop Culture Show. Alright. Fitness. What's up? My How's it going, great. guys? We're back. Well, no you one... haven't heard us yet because our last podcast got deleted. Yeah, because um controversial stuff happened. Yeah, but we're back now we are. and we're better and we're more energized and And I yeah. bought Gymshark. Yeah. Hashtag buy Gymshark. Hashtag don't. <laughs> That's still my thing. Anyway. What's up? What's up? How are you today? Hey, I'm pretty good. How was okay. your gym session? It was very good. I trained arms this morning. Oh, yeah, this morning. What time did you wake up? Like 5.30. 5.30. Sounds pretty good, mate. It was all right. It was all right. Yeah. Did you train this morning? Oh, uh, yeah, I did. What did you train? I trained just did some cardio, you know? Some cardio. That's why my t-shirt smells pretty bad. Cardi, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so fitness. Let's go on. Let's just get a quick internet snap real quick. Why just are you Snapchatting this? No, 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 not, not this. I'm going to go search up internet topics. Uh, so just, you don't really have to. I know, but I want to. No, like, mm, yeah, no. Oh, found it, found it, found it, found our notes. Let's just restart, because I just... Cut. <laughs> ben, don't put this in, please. Yeah, Ben, just uh, don't, like, start now. Wait, wait, we'll take... We'll, s- we'll look at the time, and we'll say we started from this time. So it's 2.51 right now. Wait. What's your, bit, what's your notes say? I'll just leave it. All right. We're going to start from 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, no, 3 minutes and 20 seconds will start. Uh. I'll just say hey. (laughs) Boom, boom, boom. When you say (laughs) well. Okay, what's up, guys? Yeah, we're back. It's the fitness topic here. I'm Brandon. I'm Devonte. And we are... Your podcast host. Oh, great. Bloody. Bloody Sorry. Sorry, I just got a call. Yeah. Right. Uh, okay. Stuffed up the intro. It's all good. Oh my. Put your phone on silent. You're ruining the. the, the you're ruining the podcast. It's alright. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Go away. No. Just David, I'm kind of. Tra- I'm. I'm doing work right now. He has a side. <laughs> alright. So back to fitness. Alright. Let's just restart. We'll go from four minutes. Sorry. Restart now. What's up? We're so, back. This is you? fitness with Brandon and Far Out. Right, I'll start again. One more time. One more time. <laughs> no, you're hopeless. Leave Two it seconds. in. You'll leave it. Bloody. <laughs> you're starting it. Yo, what's up? Uh, this is Brandon and Devonte, and we're going to talk about fitness today because yep. this is a fitness podcast. Yep. We didn't really come that prepared. No, we didn't. We can wing it. Yep, we will we wing everything that we do from now on. We have a few no, topics to no, talk about. we won't wing everything we do from now on. After today... After today, we'll, we'll be, be more serious, serious and professional about it for one more session. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's go. First topic, fitness. Fit- oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's a fitness podcast. All right. Well, I have some interesting things we could talk about. All right. Let's talk about the school gym. All right, school gym. Um, What are your... What do you what what do you have to say about the school gym? It, like in my opinions, it's pretty poor. I I reckon it's not the best. They it's could really not. really change the bars. The yeah. bars are really thin, and and really I feel like the weights are fake. Honestly, <laughs> fake weights. No, I uh, benched a hundred for two with the weight, and it felt pretty light. But then again, like I'm big, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, no, it, the weight does feel a bit lighter. I don't know. That could just be me. And the bars are a lot thicker. I meant thinner. Sorry, my bad. Thinner. And yeah, don't like that. Yeah, and <laughs> um, the pull-up bars. Like, do you think it just like I feel like it just has lack of equipment. Yeah, no, and it's very um, yeah, plain. Yeah, like everything in there is not really organized well. No, not like really. they just have like dumbbells stuffed in the corner, which you can barely get to. And then there's yeah. one bench, and it's like the point, bench is really bad. It's really terrible. It's and then what bad. they have. Another, like, one other machine there. Yeah, and the um, bench press with the bar racking it and stuff, that's kind of, in my opinion, that the style of it... Is dangerous. It isn't that it isn't safe, but it's like, I don't feel comfortable, like, throwing the weight back, back in case it yeah, goes over it. You have to go quite far back. Yeah, no, it's not even that. It's like, where you're racking it, there's only one racking point, and there's no safety to, like, smash it back onto and, like, load it down. So if you if you lock out and you push it back too high, there's a possibility you go over the bar and drop the weight. Mm. And um, 
Yeah, I don't I don't like that. That's unsafe. Yeah. I don't want to throw weights. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, no, it's it's So you, you think they should upgrade the thing? I think they should uh bring in new bars, really. The plates are fine. I just want new bars. Yeah. Like I I think new bars, bars and a better bench. A better bench. Because like oh, you know, they're not that definitely and yeah. a better squat rack. Is a squat rack and bench thingy the same thing then? Yeah, pretty much. Oh well sort your shit out and get two things. Yeah. <laughs> get a get a proper bench press thingy, my bob. Yeah. Bench. Get a proper get a proper, proper bench, bench press bench. And a proper squat rack. This school, I know it's expensive, but if they've got the funds for it and they want to actually have a good gym, you should probably get a Smith machine. Yeah. Smith machines would be nice. So I could have a... I don't use Smith machines because I'm big, but <laughs> but still, like for people that are just beginning or use a Smith machine. I really think they should more like invest oh, in Oh, for those who don't know what a Smith machine is, it's pretty much a... Um, supported. It's a guided bar. So the bar's guided on something, so it's really safe. Really yeah. safe. And so you can pretty much get your form down right. Yeah, 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 but you know, if you're big. I was uh, training a kid yesterday, and someone took the squat rack, so I had to use the Smith machine yesterday. Did Did you feel weird using it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't using it. He was because I was training him. But um, no, it it did really help with his form. He has a m- massive form improvement just from yesterday, with it. And uh, yeah, he can't walk today. He messaged me this morning and said, um, I look dead. Damn. He couldn't. He can't walk up his stairs. He struggled. Good feeling. Good feeling. Yeah, it was it was pretty good. Yeah. So, how seriously would you say you take training on a sca- oh, on a average scale of one to ten, like thirteen? Thirteen, breaking the scale even. Cause thirteen. Mm. I take my I take my training like I'm prepared. But the, I take my training as serious as like I'm preparing for a competition in a way, even though I'm not I'm not competing anytime soon. And if I do, then cool, that's good on me. <laughs> but I'm not competing anytime soon. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, no, it's like. I just started a 14-week program, so it's like a really strict eating um, and early morning. Is this a cut or is this a bulk? It's uh, Actually, you know what? Explain the difference between a cut and a bulk. It's So you don't know what I'm doing? Or? No, we'll get onto that afterwards. Okay, okay, so a cut is where you shred down weight. So you're losing weight to look really lean and just cut nice, nice abs. So in this, would defined. you be using lighter weights or heavier weights? I reckon keep the same weight. This is me personally. Just don't go down in weight. You don't have to. You can do, like, high-volume training still. So is it, like, in your training, would you do higher sets, higher reps, I mean, or just higher You can do intensity? it regardless on if you're cutting or not. It's just cutting is pretty much eating less and adding in some cardio. You don't really have to change the style. I did change my style recently, but that's for more dense muscle, if that makes sense. So it looks thicker, looks tighter, looks dense, and I'm doing high-volume training for that. So I'm, I'm bulking, but, like, really clean eating I'm bulking. So I'm in a surplus, but I'm still, I'll look better and I won't look fat, in other in other words. So I'll, I'll put on like a tiniest bit of, I'll maintain my size now, put on maybe a little bit more thickness, but stay reasonably cut and look nice. I'll, I'll maintain. So by summer, hopefully I look good. If I look fat, then I lied about being committed. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. In summertime, do you reckon you'll start going off your uh, eating habits a bit? Like, do you think you'll get into like more fatty of things like slopies because it's going to be really hot. No, no. no. Uh, white monsters I'll be on there. Love oh, white monsters. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And they're not good any, for you. Any mothers, to, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess white, the day started. White monsters like zero calories. Yeah. Like no sugar. No Mother. Sugar. Just it's a pretty good. Sweetness. Yeah, and sweet. And, oh. But I'm not a crossfitter. Yeah, so Crossfit, I don't really care. like bullshit, am I right? Didn't yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Crossfit. Fucking... A one training. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? What even is that? What is A one training? Speaking of actual weights from the gym, how you said something about they're just crap. A lot of people use fake weights on social media. Mm. One guy in particular, Bradley Martin, calling you out, dog. No, nah, wrong guy. Oh, it's Brad Casper. <laughs> Who's Bradley? Allegedly, Martin? he. Al- uh, Bradley Martin's is big. Uh no. Um, look, allegedly, uh. I can't remember his name now. Thanks. Brad Castleberry allegedly uses fake weights. I mean, I've seen evidence to back it up. I'll pull up a video now. Devontae, who hasn't seen him. But yeah. Uh, this guy gets... A, he's pretty much known for using fake weights. And that isn't cool, in my opinion. Because he pretty much lies to his audience. But yeah, he's known for using fake weights. That's how he gets all his clout. And, um... I don't... I What's don't clout? Really. Just to explain to our new... Why don't you explain what cloud is? Cloud? You're making me explain everything. I don't know what cloud is. You explain to me what cloud is. 
Because you're not like just... I don't know how to like explain it in words. Clout is like pretty much what asking... It's it's yeah. pretty much like, oh shit, he um he fresh. Not yeah. Like that, it's like it? another way of it's getting... Like, like clout is like your fame. Like it can either be getting rich of somebody else's fame. Yeah, or it yeah. could be doing something like... Use it like say... Because people would look at heavier weights and be like, oh, that's impressive. Yeah. So he's using bigger weights in his videos, but they're fake. Yes. And that's like that's clout chasing. Exactly. Yeah, I would word it. Um. But yeah. Here's a video of him. You can judge it for yourself. I don't know how much it weighs. No. Have you seen it? Oh, he's warming up. He shirts off, pants down. Is his motto? Not really. That's. All right, watch this. Okay, I'm Tell watching. Tell me what you think. Tell me your opinion. I don't know how much weight that is. He's pretty big. It doesn't say he is, but it doesn't say the weight. He's still a strong guy, but he just lies to seem better. Oh wait. Oh yeah, see. Ah, oh, that's a bit sus. Yeah, yeah. He's doing that a bit too easy. A bit a bit too easy. Just yeah. a little bit. Just a little bit. What time did we start the podcast on? Just so you remember, like four twenty? I don't know. That's it was like from four. Ah, cool. Um, so yeah. So well need to upgrade the school gym. Oh yeah. Let's get back onto your plan. Yeah. Yeah. What about my plan? Um, how you were doing your training, what type of training you're doing? High volume stuff. High volume. You wanna go into more detail about like your daily training? Alright, so I can actually today was pretty low volume. We did arms. It's pretty low volume. Oh it was it was alright. It was hard, but it was low volume. Um then go through legs. I, uh, Do you skip leg day? Yes, of course. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people. I tell don't me. skip leg day. A lot of people be telling me it looks like they've been skipping leg yeah, day. Yeah, that one guy that said it. Uh, his legs are smaller than mine. I don't know who you're talking about. You know who I'm talking about. He's tiny. I don't. I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> you know who I'm talking. I about. actually don't know who yeah, you're talking he's about. He's pretty small. It, oh, I <laughs> now no. Yeah, I remember yeah, you talking he about now. He's big. He's he's tiny. I don't like actually tiny. Like he's actually like small. No, 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 not him. Oh. Um. No, the thing is. I think I've got big orexia. Big orexia. Did you just make that up? No, no, no. It's a thing. It's pretty much... I, I, I know for a fact I'm not huge. But it's like people go, oh... People say I'm big. And to me, I'm not. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel tiny. I, I genuinely feel tiny. I feel like a crossfitter. I feel tiny. But people go, no, you, you're um, you're big, blah, blah, blah. Let's just shed a light in big orexia right now. It's when you're never happy with your size. I know one person with that problem. <coughs> Darn. <coughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, it's it's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Big Rexia. Yeah, I kind of get the feeling. Like, I don't train as serious as you. Yeah, but like... Oh, yeah, I was talking about my training program, and then I got sidetracked because you said I skipped leg day, which is untrue. I didn't say that. I, I've s- I heard somebody say that. Who? No, drop it, everyone in our class. You know what? Everyone in our class can eat a... You know why? Because I didn't skip leg day. They skip gym day. They don't even train. <laughs> what about what about Jesse? Is he? Oh wait, no, we don't. No, know, not, not not naming anybody, Jesse. But like, <laughs> <laughs> does do you, what do you think about him when he goes to the gym? Huh? Is he uh, is uh, he pretty big? Hard worker, hard worker, hard, <laughs> hard worker. <laughs> um, yeah, no, he um, really high volume. He does like seven exercises, thirty second breaks in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he lifts heavy. Oh, yeah. Mm, stuff, yeah. Yeah, no, he's 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 bigger than me for sure. Sure, mate. That's, that's so with the Instagram page. Oh, um, I've been very inactive on that. Yeah, it looks like he looks like he's drifting a bit. I'm drifting. Yeah, for sure. No, I, I I'm slowly drifting away from it. I, I uploaded something recently, but that was just because I, I needed content because some girl said post more, so I did. Oh uh, yeah, this is like kind of how people start to lose their followers. Not gonna lie. Uh, oh, you've you know actually grown a bit since the last time I've checked on you. Yeah. 891. That's not too bad. Yeah, yeah it's alright. I thought you meant actual, like, grown muscle size, and I got happy, but okay. Oh. That's fine. That's fine. No, no you fine. still look pretty small. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. That's fine. Hmm. Do you reckon I'm I'm getting clout from being a bit bigger than I was? Yes. Really? <laughs> the heck? Bullshit. Yes. Oh, for real? Yeah. No, I feel like, like some people, not going to name them, have been a lot nicer to me recently. Yeah. Neither. N- n- it's pretty much like... 
Okay, so Brandon used to be like a little chubby person yeah. and everybody hated him. And then I was like the only one who actually didn't mind him and talked yeah. to him in <laughs> class and I actually didn't like I didn't mind hanging out with him. Yeah. And then every he started going to the gym yeah, and he, he still wasn't that big, you know? So still yeah. people just thought of him just as like, oh yeah, doesn't even take it seriously. I'll tell my story after. Yeah, yeah. Video. And then he started going to the gym, he got a little bit bigger and people started to like him a bit more. And then he got a lot bigger. <laughs> a lot bigger. Yeah. So um this so pretty much I joined the gym. Mainly it was like a shot in the dark type thing. I noticed everyone would be like MMA after school. They've got like tennis after school, cricket or whatever whatever, footy. Or rugby. They all they're yeah, all rugby, sorry. They all had this thing that they would do, like an activity outside of school. And I and I felt I was either hanging around Southland or going home and playing Xbox. I'm like, Well, I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna cut in right now. Brandon used to be like a Southland rat, like he'd be one of them ratty types. You'd always be at Southland. Yeah, uh, continue. continue sorry. Well, I, I wouldn't say I was a ratty type. I, yeah, I was yeah. just always there. Uh, okay. Anyway, so yeah, I I joined the gym. I wasn't happy with my body anyway. I was 84 kilos with no muscle. I I was pretty committed to the gym at first. I um started cutting and I got down to 74 kilos, but I still wasn't happy because I I looked tiny. I looked really small. And I'm like, this isn't what I want. I want to be big. So I um, so I started weight training and eating more and started to bulk. I'm now 85 kilos of muscle and fat, obviously, because you can't bulk without putting on fat. But, um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so now I'm 85 kilos of muscle and a little bit of fat. Um, I've gotten significantly, significantly. significantly stronger. Um, I remember... I would say now, this five months ago, would it be? I started my bulk five months ago. It's a long bulk. <laughs> nah, it's not really a bulk. It's more, yeah, I guess it's a bulk. I started a bulk. It wasn't like a serious, serious bulk. I'm just growing with time, and I'm happy with that. Anyway, I could barely bench 60 kilos for three at that point in time, and now I'm benching 60 kilos for five to six reps. No, not 60 kilos. I'm <laughs> bloody hell. I'm benching 90 kilos for five to six reps for strength training. Uh, I reckon I could bench... Actually, I could bench 95 for five kilos now. Because on the weekend, um, I'll tell you about it after this. Yeah, it was funny. It was funny. Um, just to prove my dominance and my alpha, I got 100 kilos and I repped it out for three and a half. It's so pre- I'll, I'll, I'll message it to you or tell you after this. It's, okay. It's pretty funny. It's a funny story. Um, but yeah... My one rep max at the moment is a 115 bench. Mm-hmm. But after school today, Gonna go for a I one. might go for a 117.5. I reckon I could. I feel strong. You're feeling the, the pump right now? I'm feeling the ligma. <laughs> Don't worry about ligma. But yeah, um, I'm going to go for a 117.5 today, I reckon. Yeah, and going on what I was like, saying, like a lot of girls just started getting into Brandon after he got a lot bigger. Just, um, yeah. Which just shows. Which just shows. The... They're not chasing. They're, they're not. They're not even. They're, they're um. They're swimming for the money. Not even money. They're not gold diggers. They're gain diggers. Yeah, they're um, good looking diggers. They're looking. Um, they're looking for the fish. See, I'm not a good looking guy though. I'm like. I'm not gonna say you are because that's just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not. You know what I mean? I'm like. N- I'm like average. Not even. I'm just like. You no, know, like. Yeah. But it's, it's like it's not your face. It's your body. Let's yeah, not. Yeah, let's yeah, not yeah. lie. Somebody, like they were like. Look at my chest or shoulders, and I'm like, mm. Mm. and they'll look at my face, and I'm like, mm. <laughs> and they'll, then they'll run away. Cause I scared them all. My mate um liked a girl, and uh, she looked at me. Well, she didn't, but that's what I told him. Yeah. Anyway, she uh, she didn't look at me. I told him that, and he got upset over that because he's angry. Because he used to be significantly stronger and bigger than me, and now I'm way bigger than him. Way bigger. Hey, who are you talking about? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I know what girl you're talking about. Is it the girl I think you're talking about? A. A? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay, I, I thought I thought you were talking about, you know. Yeah. No. yeah. She, you, you know? She, I don't think she likes Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> She's still, I, I highly think she doesn't like Dylan. I, anyway, no, Dylan's not a bad guy. It's just he's small. <laughs> <laughs> kidding. <laughs> kidding, Dylan. I love you. You're huge. <laughs> Okay, anyway. Listen, we got off track. But, um, yeah. How, I'm going to interview you now. A lot of the questions... Are you, are you feel like I've been interviewing you this whole time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's meant to be a podcast on an interview, mate. A bloody... 
bloody bloody. Oi, then what is uh? No control. No jumper. No control. No jumper. What's no jumper? It's a podcast, isn't it? What are they doing? It. They interview. They interview celebrities. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm an Instagram celebrity. <laughs> okay. <laughs> kind of. Yourself. Uh, just a, just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Talk closer to the mic. Okay. What the hell? What the <sighs> H-E double hockey sticks, man? All right, go on, interview me. So when did you start training? When did I start training? Okay, so I started. Let me let me actually get up the. Remember date. when you were stronger than me? You remember that? <laughs> you, you know you could be now if you just didn't do cardio. Just saying. I don't do cardio. It's more or less, I just don't take training seriously. Why not? Because like I look at myself and I'm just like, yeah, I'm good enough. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> like. I don't really. No, I saw your tricep before. I'm like, oh, nice. Nice. This guy's a good tricep. My tricep development's gotten a lot better. In yeah. Like, because I've always naturally just been bigger. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of people hated that. Yeah, I was never naturally bigger. I just. Yeah. Never. I never really. Like, okay, so I started going to the. I didn't. Okay, well, I have my gym story. So, I like playing sports. I always like playing sports. And the gym that I go to, shout out to PCYC. <coughs> <coughs> Fit and fast <laughs> represent. Yeah, thank you. Uh, PCYC, if you want to go home. there, I'll get you in for free. Don't worry. Just come I'll with me. All right. All right. All right. So anyway, so, so with my gym, um, they have like, a, it's a youth gym. It's for the youth. Yeah. And um, they have a, they had a program every Tuesday. It was a Mac program where they would play sports at the gym. And I would yeah. go there every Tuesday because uh, another guy from the school won't, can't name any names, Liam. Well, he he told me to come along one day, and I came, and it was pretty good fun. So I started going every Tuesday, and he was like, one, one session he was like, oh, let's just go use the gym before Max starts. So we started using the gym. I didn't know what any what yeah. what to do at all. So I was just trying to lift weights, and then I slowly started to get into it, and then it came about preseason for rugby. So about this time, about last year, yeah. sometime was when I actually like started working out, but I still wasn't working out seriously. I was like, and my diet was terrible. I was like eating KFC every night. Oh, it was KFC. beautiful. Oh, oh yeah, HSPs for, for lunch and oh, you know, yeah. yeah. It's pretty much only like now, like not too long ago, where I started getting serious about it. Yeah. Like I don't really care about my looks, like because honestly, I just like smash up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. If, um, I, I'm, honestly, if you're just talking a bit of. Bit of smack talk, you know. You, you right. get a good old slap. Okay, I'll give you. I'll give you the insight right now. But my my come as a surprise to you. Okay. I look decently big. Mm-hmm. I look solid, kind of. Yep. Um, but I can't fight. <laughs> I'm a pussy. <laughs> I bet you never knew that. Oh my god, it must mm-hmm. be a surprise. No, I think I did. Okay, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do this. Yeah. Thing. So like, I'm not gonna say I can because I don't think it's important important to our topic oh, that we're going I was on about. Ask you if you thought. This person was... Natty or not? No. Fit? No. Okay. Well, yeah. Maybe. But yeah, pretty much, yeah, That's that was my attitude. Like, I didn't really care if I was big enough or not. Yeah, if yeah, yeah. You would... <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if, if, <laughs> if you were talking, you know, a little bit of smack, I'd just give you like a little, you know, yeah, a good old smack. A I just, oh, I don't know, in the gym, I always had that dominance over everybody else. Yeah, no, that's the thing with me. Um, If someone comes in to... M- I don't want to sound like a... Like I, I like people. I enjoy people. People are nice. But when I'm in the gym, I get into a new mindset of... And I think that's why I've come so far in it. Because there's kids there that don't want to be the best. They don't really care that much. They want to look good, but they don't want to be the best. In my mindset, I'm the best. The, no, hands down, for my age, out of this school, name one person that's stronger than me. Name one person that can lift heavier than me. I'm not trying to be cocky, but do it. One person. Oh, I um, can't remember his name. <laughs> yeah, he can't lift heavier than me anymore. Just saying. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so it's like Ben told us before. If you put yourself in the mindset that he's quoted Muhammad Ali, think like a champ, be a champ. If I think, all right, this is what I need to do to be the best, I will become the best. I wish it in the power. I put it in the power by doing it. I don't just say it, I do something about it. I've done something about about it. I put in dedication and now I'm pretty strong. Not like I'm not trying to bag, I'm just being honest. I feel like there's a difference between bragging and honesty in a way, but I'm um, like, I feel like bragging has its little lies at time. Mm. No, this is honesty. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Like some people will give me the bull crap, like oh, oh you're talented. I don't really see that. You know what I mean? Like, there's no even Conor McGregor said there's no talent here. It's just hard work. I work hard, I get it done. Yeah. 
like one of my goals to push me was I wanted people that were like 25, 30, 40, whatever to look at me and be like, oh, you're 16, what? And I get that now. So those are your goals. Yeah. Those were your goals and you've, you've achieved them. To get yeah, people I'm that still, are older. still achieving them. That, t- like to get people that are like in their 20s to say you're t- 16. <laughs> I mean like, you know what I mean? In that voice of like, oh shit. Yeah, t- like comparing <laughs> to your size it's and how much you're lifting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, See, the last person that I saw do that was actually on steroids. Yeah, and I'm not on steroids. Though. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, like the last guy that I saw one of those videos, that the kid was on steroids. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, he was part of it, like to make those. But the people he was training with, that guy that said he was natural. Al- allegedly, he's not, but he claims to be. Anyway, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about uh, what was I talking about? about? Me being cool. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. So that was one of my drives. The way I see it is. If you go into a sport, any sport, if you don't think you're the best, you're not going to be the best. That's fair enough. It, like, I'm not trying to say... You have to have the mentality to go far. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm humble. And, like, I I am humble because I, I know I'm not the strongest. I know I'm not the biggest. But I strive towards that... That goal. I just contradicted myself a little bit. But it's just hard to explain it. Like, I know I'm, I'm not the strongest person out. And I'm not the biggest person out. But for the local area and for who, like... I compare myself to him like I'm gonna become stronger than you, and I do. Obviously, that can't be everyone, but um, yeah. <sighs> um, but even if I'm not stronger than that guy, if he wants to say I'm not, um, two weeks and I will be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, would you be saying that you're the biggest, honestly, in the school, and that you've achieved your goals so far? Nice wallpaper, by the way. Oh, that's great. Um, biggest in within goals, I feel like. Everyone has their own... Goals. I'm not going to say I'm the best. Like, if it's fitness or whatever, I mean, who am I to I think, say I'm better? I think I could beat you. A lot of cardio activities, not going to lie. Mm, probably. Yeah. I mean, I know I sounded cocky before and I said blah, blah. But that's like... That was just kind of an example of the mindset I've put myself into. Yeah. And it, it's honestly like when we walk into the gym, it's like completely different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like... I. It's like, if I'm outside of the gym, I don't have those thoughts of, oh, I'm going to be better than you, I'm going to do this. Yeah. So when I'm in the gym, that's my motivation. Because that's your zone. Yeah. yeah, I'm in my zone. That's my motivation. If you don't believe you're the best, how are you going to achieve to your best? Mm-hmm. If you're not giving it your all, like... Yeah. Like, like I'm not going to put anyone down because they're not as big as me. If anything, I've got one friend, and he's not as big as me, and he's not as strong as me, but after school, every day, every day after school, I train with him, and I'm helping him build on it. Because that's the type of guy I am. I'm going to help people achieve their goals too. Like, I, you put yourself in the mindset of, oh, you can be the best. And hopefully you will achieve that. But if I'm in my mindset of, oh, I'm never going to be like that, but I'll try. Like, that's not... You know Yoda? Do or do not, there is no try. It's either you do it or you don't. I did it. <laughs> it's pretty simple. I remember with the 100 kilo bench, I put I turned my, put myself down. Like, I'm never going to get that. What are you doing? Nothing. Yeah. Anyway, let's. I'm done. Hundred kilo bench. Yeah, fair enough. Ah, oh, yeah. I think I'm not gonna talk about. I stopped either. doing bench. You know, I've actually just recently started getting properly back into like building. Could do it. Yeah. Am I technically a bodybuilder? No, I'm not saying I'm just like building mass size. No, but like, am I technically a bodybuilder? Pretty much, I'd say so. Just not a big bodybuilder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just not a huge. All right. Just not yeah. a big bodybuilder. Um. Yeah. So like, what's it called? I think I'm at. It's pretty sad. Before, like, when I was benching, like, every all the time, I was at 85. And then, yeah. I st- yeah, I stopped for a while. And now I've come back to it. This is like, my second week into it, chest day today. It's going to be... I'm pretty keen for it. It's... I think I'm at 60. That's right. You it's, can build up. For, it's gone down quite a bit. That's right. You can build it up. Yeah. And see, but the thing is, when I first started doing it, all I did was chest. You just need that person, like, even if it is me. You need that person for that competitive, if yeah. it's like friendly competition, but like you go, oh, I'm better than you, I'm better than you, blah, 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 I do this better than you. I've got that with um Dylan. And because of that, we try to outdo each other all the time. Yeah. All the time. If we're together, it's like, I can do that. You can't. Like, we both can, but it's like, it helps us, like, perform. Like, I did this challenge at Fit and Fast. I have this challenge. Bench half of your body weight for as many reps as you can. So mm. I'm like 85 kilos or something. They didn't have my actual weight. So I was benching like... Four, I was benching 42.5. Mm-hmm. 
So yes, it was half. I guess. Um, I got forty six reps on that. Dylan, <laughs> Dylan got like thirty five reps on a lower weight because he's lighter than me. But like he, he like I'm not trying to bad talk him or anything, but he really wanted to push towards that, and I respect the fact that he even got the thirty five because it was that competitiveness. What did you get? Sorry. I got thirty. No, I got forty six reps. Sorry, and he got thirty five. Thirty five. Okay. Yeah. I might try that today. Half your body weight for as many reps as you can. Uh huh. I'm weighing at like uh, I think oh, seventy nine. Oh, I was gonna try predict it. I was gonna say seventy eight. Oh no. But honestly, my my body's pretty bipolar. Like with dropping body weight. Like I bipolar. I can drop body weight pretty quick, but then I shoot back up. Oh, okay. Yeah, like last week, I will, uh, two weeks ago, I was like 70, That's 76, issue. and then the next week, I was, 70, I was 80, and then I dropped back down to 76, and now I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm back at 80. I know a uh, guy, he's similar. He's um actually from New Zealand. I don't know if it's, some, it's, this is not racist, this is just me asking. <laughs> I don't know if it's something about coming from there that makes your body non-consistent with weight, but he's always looking either really big. Oh, really small. Or re- not small, but really lean. Like Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Like, yeah, 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 I'll show yeah, you my yeah, photos. It's like, not like small. In some of them, lame. I look big, and then the other ones, I look really, like, cut. Like, kind of cut, but, like, at the same time, I don't look as big. <gasps> oh, do you want to see a photo when I first started training? Yes, I do. <laughs> Your friend thinking, oh, my God, can we please talk about that? What? Your friend that thought I wasn't natty. <laughs> Was he being serious? Yeah. What's his it's face? When like? I first started I training. Mate, that's what I used to be like. And then... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much my story. So yeah, I look big in this. Like my arm looks pretty big, and then took a photo last this night. This is a different day. Like literally the next day. Is that yesterday. Yeah, that's a good photo. And I look pretty like lean. Yeah, compared to this one, I just look big. Took a photo yesterday. I had a rush in my chest, so I took a photo. <laughs> I mean, I, I look kind of small. Like this photo, I look really full. Like my abs don't look the best, but I look really full. Like fluffy. But I might delete it. I don't. Look Good. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get some photos of me. Here's what I here's a video of Adan and I. Look, you can probably see that. Look how leaner I was at one point. Yeah, you looked a lot smaller. Tighter and yeah, smaller. Yeah, tighter and smaller. Like my muscle separation back then was so nice. Like my, from my bicep to my tricep, from my shoulders, like the separation was nice, but I don't like being lean. I'm one of those guys that would rather be Speaking of being lean and saying I'm one of those guys that would rather be... Like, I still want abs and stuff, but look thicker. One of my mates that's bigger than me just messaged me. He's really strong. Does his name start with a H? <laughs> he just... Fun? Does his name start with a H? And with a Y? No. His name Last name Potter. <laughs> what, what are you on about? Don't worry. Why are we going to talk about my friend who didn't think you were natty? Yeah, no, I, d- I just find that funny. I just showed him your transformation. He was like... No, 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 not let... No, he's like, no, 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 he's on something. He's a hater. I, d- I was like, yeah, he is a hater. He's pretty angry. If oh, you actually really? Met him. really? Yeah. W- what's his Facebook? I'll add him. Um, I'll add him. I'm like, what's up? What's up? <laughs> I'll, I'll train with him. I'll bring him down to my gym. He won't come down. I'm not going to his gym. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, is his it, gym? Is that your gym? No, no. I don't know yet. He's, get, he's getting pretty big. I not really, know. but... Yeah, it's just his genetics are bad. Sorry, Caesar. Oh, his name's Caesar, like Caesar salad. Yeah, that's exactly what it says. That's probably why he's not getting big. Too much salad. He eats so much junk food and yeah, well, good food. You know. Actually, he doesn't eat a lot of junk food. Nah, I don't want to talk about him. He'll get pissed if he hears this. I don't care. Well, I don't care. Like, dieting is a massive part of it. If you're not going to diet, then. You're not going to reach your full potential. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've seen her before. Yeah, she um, she's a cameo. Oh. I don't know why I'm saying this on this. Can I? Can I? No. I know. No, we're mature. We're young adults. We can. Okay. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I can't find this Facebook, eh? Why not? It's not letting me. You just want to talk about teen fitness in a hole. Like, not in an actual hole in the ground, in like a hole, like, as in, like, a topic. Like, a massive topic, teen fitness in general. Okay, go ahead. Right. I feel like teens have an unrealistic 
uh, perception of what they can achieve. And I reckon that's kind of bad. Because they feel like they need to meet the standards to please everyone. You know what I mean? Like, they have to be huge and cut at the same time and all this stuff. And it's just not... It, you can't be huge and cut at the same time. It's not attainable. And they don't know that. So they buy all these programs that promise them that. And they waste money and stuff. So teens are gullible. <laughs> Look, that was me. That was me, exactly. I was watching YouTube videos about stuff that didn't even make sense. And I thought it was achievable. And then I met my, like, best mate, probably. Where He's like, you know you and Liam? Mm. I, I'm, like, that close with, like, Harry. And, like, he, he pulled my head and he's like, no. And told me what was achievable, what isn't. And he taught me. I feel like teens need guidance. I get a lot of people message me, like, how should I do this? How should I do that? And I'm brutally honest with them because there's no point in not being. Yeah. They're like, oh, I want to get big. Well, okay, cool. That. And then I warn them. Getting big, you're going to put in a little bit of fat. You might lose your abs, blah, blah, blah. What's your body type first? Types, Because if they're already like, I'm not trying to be mean, but if they're already on the on the bigger scale, they need to cut down. Yeah. If they're small, they need to bulk up, blah, blah, blah. So I tell them, I'm honest with them. Tell them what they can eat and stuff like that. Because I'm, I'm cool, I guess. But, um, yeah, I just, you, <laughs> you, you get a lot of confusion in the teen bodybuilding or teen fitness industry. So if I can help them out, I will. Do you want to add anything onto that, please? No. Please, add something. I don't know what to add onto it. Why not? (laughs) I don't know what to add on. About team fitness, like, what? If, honestly, like, if I'm in the gym and I see someone struggling, or if they're being, like, an idiot, I'll probably correct them, or I'll tell them off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, if that's what I... Do you want to tell them off? Why would you tell them off? Help them. Don't be an asshole. For being an idiot. Uh, Who cares? They, They don't know. I, I That's how I started getting serious. I got told off and I was like, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, I need yeah, to put yeah. my head I, in. Like, my mate makes sure, like, Harry, he's like my mentor. He makes sure I'm humble. <laughs> he he makes sure I'm humble. He um he pretty much pulls my head in and he goes, <gasps> if I go, oh, I'm looking huge or whatever, he goes, you're not big. <laughs> he's, he's brutally honest. He's like, you're not big. I'm, And then he goes, I'm not big. We aren't big. Blair isn't big. None of us are big because bigger people that are... You know? Yeah. And he's just honest. He's like, if I like go, oh, blah, 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 and I start to brag or whatever, or be cocky, he goes, settle down or whatever. And like pulls pulls me back down to earth. And I really respect that. Because if you don't have people like that around you, it's, it can get to your head really quickly. Like, if he wasn't around, I'd probably think that everyone has to like me because I lift. Everyone has to be attracted to me. Or so. Not probably not. That's pretty dumb. But there are people like that that think just because they went to a gym for three weeks in a row that they can get anyone they want. That's also like how if anybody goes to like possibly one ca- class of like say yeah. fighting, they could kick anybody's ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, but then they get a reality check when they meet somebody. Yeah. Actually, I went to an MMA class once. I didn't even do it. I was watching a Dan do it and some kid tried to fight me and I did the exact same thing a Dan did and that won. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. It wasn't actually a fight. It was more of a wrestle. Um, they tried to punch me, and I moved out of the way. And I did a double leg, and I s- threw him around and got him in a headlock. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, but yeah. And he tapped, and I'm like, yeah, you better watch out, mate. And then you feel my bicep. <laughs> no, I wasn't even lifting then. This was in, like, year nine. Oh. Actually, yeah, it was in year nine. Yeah, but, like, ah, oh, you should have seen me, like, because all I used to do was work out my chest. I had a massive okay. chest, and, like... Small shoulders. Oh, oh your delts would have been alright. But oh, I'll show you. I have a photo of like, and all I did was. I mean, my body's pretty proportioned. I just want my back to fill out a little bit. Like I had a massive like body, and then my arms were yeah, just tiny. Yeah, yeah, like the only thing I want to get a bit thicker. Like I'll stand up right now. You can be brutally on the side of mine. I think my back. Same. Yeah. Okay. I think my back could be a little bit better. I don't know. Nah. Like, He's standing it's, up. It's, it's really hard to I, I can't see anything. Yeah, a little bit, but but on the side angle, you you definitely your chest and that look better. Yeah. No. So I've changed my style of back training. I can't really tell you what I'm doing because I don't know. Because I'm not. The if one it's working. I'm I'm not the one that's changed it really. It was Harry, and he's like my he's a personal trainer. How, m- how many times do you work back a week? Once. Once. I, I my split is back on Monday. Um. Chest and shoulders on Tuesday, legs on Wednesday, arms on Thursday, Friday off. Saturday's just a pump day, upper body pump day, so shoulders, chest, back. Yeah. Just for a pump. Sunday off, <laughs> and then repeat. Um, I really just want 
my back, like if I take off my top now, which I'm not going to, my back's pretty cut, but it's not filled out nicely. I still don't have a scheduled. I just kind of do what I feel. You should kind of, you should kind of uh, fix your split, mate. Okay. Fix your split, man. Honestly, what do you think about people with like a back knee? I've got back knee. Same. Um, and people think I'm on roids. Yeah, yeah, because that's a side effect. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's just, just natural sweat, sweat, sweat from the gym. It's yeah. just dirt getting caught under your skin and sweat. Like, you can get rid of it with that. I'm going to Google how to get rid of it tonight and I'll come back on that because I don't actually know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, I've got back knee. I'm not ashamed to say it. And I, I'm prone to stretch marks too because I grew in such a short amount of time, which explains why your friend was a bit skeptical of me. I've got stretch marks across my back there because my back just... Yeah. In like six... Did you get them on your biceps like when you first started? I don't have any bicep stretch marks. Uh, I used to have, like, white ones Actually, coming up from here. Right there? Yeah. I'm getting them under my armpits now. But that means bigger shoulders, arms, and chest. Oh, like, taking taking the one. It's <laughs> clumping. Clumping. But, um... I'm just going to be honest. You look like a clump. What's a clump? You just look like a clump together. What do you mean? Like, clumps. Oh, I don't know. I'm slouching right clump. now. I'm slouching. Like a clump. Uh, uh, does that look better? Yeah, it's better. You're okay. always going to stay like that 24-7. Sorry, I, I wasn't sitting straight. I was slouching because... Do you think slouching causes men boobs? No. <laughs> Actually, my mate neglects his lower chest, I swear. He never flat benches. He's only strictly inclined training. And I hate it, and he's doing training with me. So if he keeps that inclined style, I'm just going to have to smack him in the face. So what would you say um, would help you decrease man boobs? It depends on... If Actually, you're... let's talk about this. Like, go right. through all the things that are, like, bad about the body. Like, love handles. You can't spot... Core. You can't spot target any weight boobies. loss. Boobies. If you've got boobies, do cardio. You can't spot... Tar- you can't... You can't, like, go, oh, I've got love handles. And you can't... You can't spot train that. You can't spot train You that. have to you do cardio. You have to do cardio and lose all the fat. Yeah, all I know. It, which means and that, it sucks because that's the last part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You lose... Um, you lose everything knowledge, first. From my knowledge, you, l- you lose weight from your legs first, which explains I used to have thicker legs. Uh, if I have a photo, I'll try to find it. I used to have thicker legs, and I lost the weight from my legs first. And then I, I pretty much went from having no muscle with very little fat on my legs to muscle with still very little fat on my legs. Like, my legs just aren't prone to fat, which makes them appear a bit smaller than the average. Actually, no, they're not small anymore. What am I on about? They used to be smaller. Like, yeah, here's a transformation photo. Keep in mind, my legs are a bit more toned in this photo. I was angling them to make them appear a little bit bigger. See? See the difference? Your legs are tiny. Look at that. Look, there's no difference between my calves and quads. They're the exact same size. But in this, you can tell, like, whoopsie daisies. I, I overtrain my quads and not my calves. <laughs> Train bit. calves. It's important. Um, calves are like abs, though. And so, I think traps, calves, and... <laughs> Traps, calves, and abs, you can train like every second or every third day. Because it's because they're, they're not like massive muscle groups. Traps, calves, and abs. You can ah, uh, really? Like most people train their abs like every night. I wouldn't suggest it. It messes with your recovery. I used to. Actually, I don't know. My friend says don't mess with your recovery. But the way I got abs was strictly abs every day. Exactly. Like, I'll show you a photo of what my abs used to look like. When This is when I first started noticing I got abs, and then I'll show you a photo. Or, or you didn't really need to see a recent photo because you know what they look like now. Yeah, but that, like, that's the thing, though. Like, most of my friends, they worked on their abs every day, and they got pretty good ones. Yeah, but most of your friends are um, pretty skinny. <laughs> yeah, but they're... You can see, like, I don't look great. But you can see that they were coming out from just training. Wait, wait. did I take that photo? No, it was is, is like that my elbow? No, it's uh, Dylan. Oh, look I thought at, it was like, my elbow because it's a little bit brown. Oh my god, they're tiny. And now I took a side by side photo, and my biceps have got my biceps look more cut there. But Do you measure your biceps? No, I, I think from what I believe, like 14, 14.5 inches. So, boom, 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 boom. I can't. <laughs> you look really bad. Ah, I just poked myself in the eye with the microphone. Mm-hmm. Just show me on the other side. I don't know. I think somebody's having a punch on. I'll be back because it's really distracting and I just want to see. So bear with me. Talk about like pecs. Okay. Bouncing your pecs. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, cool. Yeah. No one's having a punch on. Just a teacher. 
the friendly chat. Ugh. Yum. Mm. Um, right. Off topic. Rate my shirt. <laughs> Jim Shark. Like, does it fit well on me, regardless of the brand? It does, but like... I know everyone says this t-shirt's so good on me. I don't know. If it came in, what, what colours does it come in? Because like, I feel it's like... It's the Apollo be... shirt. It comes in like white, black, blue, I'm pretty sure, purple. Yeah. That's it. Are you sponsored by Gymshark? No. Then why are you wearing it? <laughs> yeah, why are you wearing it now? I don't know. Uh, huh? I saw someone wearing Gymshark huh? too before. Just over there. Just huh? outside. One, one of the girls was wearing Gymshark. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, have you got any sponsors? I used to hate Gymshark. I, I genuinely did. But someone talked me into buying it, so I bought it. I like it. I don't regret my decision. Okay. Yeah. How long do we have left of this? Oh, my God. 20 seconds. Uh, see, this is the point where we went on to, like, music and stuff. <laughs> what type of music do you listen to when you train anyway? When I train? Yeah, what type of... Sorry, I'll re-say that because I was yawning and that's rude. What type of, like, music do you listen to when you train now that you have a phone? Like, <laughs> what, like, what type of pace? Like, do you listen to, like, One Direction? No. Or, like, I've listened to One Direction while training. <laughs> I haven't. I, have. I was listening to them this morning. I listen to, like, I don't know, like, 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 ghetto type stuff, like, gangster type I stuff. I listen to Scarlord. Scarlord's my favourite artist. Okay. Do you want to see my favourite video? Do you okay. just want to say that? Yeah, no, do you want to watch Like, it? honestly, most of my stuff just has, um, a lot of the stuff I'd listen to today. I just like listening to music that like I would like like yeah, to bounce yeah, to. You know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, just watch this video. This is my favorite artist at the moment. Yeah. So I live by those words he just spoke. <laughs> but um. Okay. No, he's my fav. He's my favorite artist alive. Like in hip hop, kind of. Uh, yeah, in the hip hop. Uh, um, in the hip hop background. Anyway, let's. Yeah. The other podcast, like Adan and Lee's podcast, is very well done. Very well done. Yeah, that's because they planned what to talk about. We didn't really plan to well, talk about it. I didn't actually know you were coming today. Just I saying. texted you saying I was coming. Uh, debatable. I did. I said, I'm coming. We can present. Oh my god, this isn't the end of the day. We no. still have English. Oh, this is going to be in the podcast. Oh, I've got to eat oh, this too. My meal. I'm pretty hungry. I'm gonna probably scab some food off Louie. <laughs> <laughs> off topic, off topic. Uh, just a little bit. Alright. Have you ever been accused of being on, on the on the juice? On the have you? Me? Yeah. Uh, didn't you say you did before and I'm just really poor at listening? Yeah. When I, cause I had I have a lot of acne. Yeah. So yeah. when I take my like this I don't generally get pimples, I get acne. Yeah. Like everyone gets really shitty acne, I get acne. Minus some like, I took off my shirt, and I was working out without my shirt on, because, like, there's no one Can in the... Can you do it at your gym? There's no one there. I feel bad for you, man. There was no one there. There's, like, old ladies. Oh, was it after hours, or was there just genuinely no one there? There was just no one there, because they were closing. But oh. I know the staff, so I was like, oh, can I, like, just work out for a little bit longer? I'm like, yeah, sure. And I was working out, and then he came up to me, he's like, dude, are you on juice? I was like, why? He's like, have you seen your back? And I was like, that's... No, I'm not. It's yeah, just... I mean, mine isn't even the back knee, it's just the... My... Oh, it is. It back is the back. In play, yeah. but it's not even just back knee. It's like, obviously they look at me and they go, "Oh, you're young. You shouldn't have muscle." Because it's very. I hated that when I first started. Like, it's you should let yourself develop before you yeah, start coming. It's, it's like very, that. Oh, I hated it's that. It's very strange to see a like teenager with muscle, like with quality muscle too, because teenagers don't want to be committed to stuff. Like it's the harsh truth. We don't. But then when you do commit, like to relationships. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hashtag pray for pray for our 2018 yeah pray for our generation that isn't what I meant but okay <laughs> okay <laughs> wait <sighs> oh little sorry did you just call me little I said little oh. like little not little 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 little, little. do you like Scooby Doo no you don't like Scooby I used to like Scooby Doo oh uh, yeah no then they made the new animations I don't like the new animations I like the old Scooby-Doo, you know? Mystery Incorporated. Have you seen um, Mike Tyson's whatever, blah, 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 it's a cartoon? It's great. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what time? Is... What? I don't know. Should we just... Alright, guys. 
that's it for this week. We'll be back next week for more organized podcasts. I'm out. My name's Devontae. My name's Brandon. And we're out. Peace. See ya.